This is a story of triumph, tragedy, and evolution. We start in the Kruger National Park, South Africa. A giraffe is being chased by two lions over jagged ground. The giraffe stumbles, comes crashing down, and the lions move in. Now, the tragedy for this giraffe is also linked to one of its greatest successes. Giraffes triumph with their ability to get the food that nothing else can reach. But a long neck means long nerves. A long neck comes with a catch. Right now, if we look at a human, the nerves in the soles of my feet are firing impulses to my brain. And they're traveling through my body at 50 meters per second, taking 0.03 seconds to make the distance. That's 10 times faster than I can blink. And in you and I, we usually cope fine with these small nerve delays. Even if I trip, there's enough time for the pressure sensors in my feet to tell my brain something's wrong, for my brain to go, help, and then to send back a response to my foot to correct the problem. Fine. But what about the giraffe with its supersized neck and its long legs? Well, that distance from head to foot in a giraffe is slightly longer. To measure it, we need to examine one. Back in the Kruger, the lions are busy eating our giraffe. If we just shoo them off, shoo, shoo, we can take a closer look at what they've left behind. Over here, the head. When the brain sounds a nerve signal from the giraffe's head here, it has to travel down two meters of neck and then along another meter of back and then down one and a half meters of back leg just to get to the back foot. And that is a huge distance. It's five meters. And it's here that we hit a snag. You see, the speed of nerve conduction in giraffes is roughly the same as what it is in humans. This means that nerve delays in giraffes are much longer. When a giraffe stumbles, the time it takes from sensing the problem to sorting it out is close to a quarter of a second. For a giraffe galloping for its life away from lions, a quarter of a second is more than enough time to trip, fall, and get eaten. The lions, when they chased our giraffe over uneven ground, they managed to exploit this evolutionary trade-off between triumph and tragedy. But you'd have thought, in the two million years that giraffes have been around, maybe they would have sorted out this problem. But evolution is not perfect. It's messy. While giraffes enjoy the perk of eating from the tallest trees, this perk comes with a price. With evolution, there is no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> Thanks.